your roof. It's the most important protection against nature for your home or your business. That's why I trust the experts at Exterior Home Solutions. The Exterior Home Solutions Extra Innings, Tennessee wins in one rule fashion on a Sunday to complete the weekend series sweep over Albany 12 to nothing. Scored three runs above the fourth, scored about six there in the sixth, and able to get three outs there at the end to preserve the victory. Xander Seacrest got the start, looked good in the start, pitching two scoreless to begin things off. Nate Snead came in behind him, two and two-thirds inning, and then um, it was a number of different Tennessee relievers that retired 17 in a row at one point in time. If not for a one-out walk in the ninth inning, this game would have ended on 18 straight or 19 straight retired by the Tennessee bullpen. That is certainly getting it done. Another day and uh, kind of a, a unique lineup there with at the corners, you had Dalton Vargo in right field, Robinville in the web and left field, and Kavoris Tears in center field. And as I'll write about in the four takes, it, it looks like Tennessee's trying to prove that they can run that lineup out there more times than not if it wants to. And that means Hunter Inslee's on the bench, but he came in and had a pinch opportunity. But February is all about looking at different options, all about looking and exploring to see what you can do maybe in the month of March or maybe in the month of April. And that's what Tennessee did a lot over this weekend. So, in the day, again, Don Bargo was big. Villanueva had a home run and, and another, uh, I believe he had a two run double as well. So, it was a big, big day for those guys. And uh, Tennessee was able to cruise by a final score of 12 to 0. Now, a couple of uh, updates there from Tony Vitello in post game. Ask about Dean Curley, who exited the ball game after getting hit in the head in the fourth inning um, when he kind of went down to the ground and then walked off on his own power, said that he is good, said that he is okay. Um, if he doesn't play him on Tuesday, that's more of Tony's decision, not his decision, meaning he would be cleared to play. So that's a really, really good sign. Would assume, not a doctor, would assume he went through concussion protocol and everything checked out. Ask about A.J. Russell after Saturday's game. Didn't ask about it here, but Tony Vitello went ahead and gave a, a notice. Uh, doesn't have a complete update, but they're saying that they're going to be really cautious with him, uh, meaning they don't know if he'll pitch on Friday. But even if he does, he won't be at his at his pitch count. Uh, essentially, stressing that hey, there are innings out there to you know for for Tennessee pitchers to go and claim. So it sounds like, as I've heard throughout the weekend, don't know the specifics, but it does sound like Tennessee's just being very cautious with AJ Russell and not ruled out for this weekend. But even if he does pitch on Friday. Uh, it means he's probably not going to go to his pitch count. So all those signs point to good, you know, from Tony Vitello. But Tennessee improves to 7-1 and one on the season, the first series sweep at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. And Tennessee will be back in action on Tuesday against High Point. For the Exterior Home Solutions Extra Innings, where they've been local and trusted since 1999, I'm Eric Kane. Tennessee 12 to nothing over Albany here on a Sunday.